What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Motion Auto TV. Here we like doing engine swaps, we like doing builds, we like we just like building cars. I wanna do something different and we're considering doing one of the most controversial motor swaps that there is currently that has been happening. So let's open this door and we're gonna show you a candidate which might be a great donor for potentially, which you guys might hate me for this, I'm just gonna open the door. Up, so this right here, this is a 2014 Chevrolet Spark EV. Sean, what do you think? I don't know, like it's, I don't know. I know this thing has some torque. So this thing has 400 foot pounds of torque. It's at like a go-kart, dude. Like, I, look at, I feel like a monster in this thing. You look like a- I don't yeah. know if the seat goes back maybe, but oh, well, yeah, there's stuff back there. Go. But. 400 foot pounds of torque at zero RPMs. This is it, what do you think? You like this thing? You don't like Very it? Very interesting looking. Um, well, we, it's been know. hanging around the shop for a while. So our buddy Chris, a couple months ago, he asked me to store some of his cars for him while he moved out of state. That was right when we got the junkyard. Uh, so he recently, he, he just transported his FRS and his engine and all that stuff back. But this was an option for me to buy. And kind of the same thing with the FRS. Yeah. And so this right here is kind of a unique one year setup of the Chevrolet Spark which it is the year that has the most torque, 400 foot pounds, and the A123 battery pack, which wasn't like a Chevrolet battery pack, but I guess you could kind of like break it up and kind of do separate things. I don't know anything about EVs. I've never looked into them. You will see a little bit later in this video, uh, we actually went to SEMA and we seen a lot of EV stuff out there and we kind of seen a lot of like swap potential and we're just, I was just kind of trying to learn about them. I mean, we know how to do things, right? More or less but yeah. I think we do, yeah. but like we have never done anything with like an EV swap. Ever. This has, literally, this thing has everything. It has everything that we would need to do. All this stuff on the top, this is like the battery, like monitoring system or like the BMS and then there's the ECU and then there's like this little cover on it. But I think all of this stuff could be moved and repositioned. Yeah, so obviously th this was a wrecked car from Copart. Uh, Chris bought it like three or four years ago and he was gonna swap this stuff in like a Civic. He had a Tesla, he had a Chevy Volt, he's just a big EV guy. He had this thing and he always told me about it. He's like, oh, like I drove it down on my street and it basically did like a burnout, like as soon as you give it like the throttle. And I mean, I drove it down the street yeah. here and it has a ton of torque, especially for such a small little car. You know, part of me was like, okay, well I could like, put it back together, put a front bumper on it, and then like resell it, make some coin. Or what we could do, and what we've been kind of talking about since we've got back from the SEMA show, swapping this whole motor into something else. So actually possibly doing our first EV swap. It's really small too, there's like, you know, from what it looks like, it's really, really like, you know, compact package for the motor up front, so. It's like a time, it's real, I mean, look at it compared to Sean, you know? It's like, like a little, it's like a smart car. Is what the I crazy like. thing is, is like the back seat, is like, if you're sitting here, your head is like almost at the back window. Yeah, that's weird. So there's not very much space. You can't haul anything in it. And that's you can't haul, I mean, you can if you, you know, fold down the back, but yeah, this is how much, you know, in a hatchback, normally you have plenty of space. Right here, there's not much at all. But the thing about it is everything is here. You know, we have charger and the control system and everything. And technically, if we like gutted everything and just put this, put it all in like a Civic, it would probably work. So oh. we have 44 miles, a max of 52. And yeah, that's it. I mean, it has like all the pretty gauges. It'll tell you all the things right here. Go ahead. Oh! I would like some opinions. One of the things that we've been talking about is I think that would be really cool is to repower something old, like, like an old car. Like an with old, electric? With this, yeah. One of the things that we were talking about is like a Volkswagen Bug. What would you think about a Bug? You like a rear, rear engine setup, just like the Bug? Rear like motor. For your motor center. Your motor. That's what I was thinking. And then you would have a place in the front to put all your battery packs and all that stuff. And essentially take like this dash and like the wiring from this car and just put it in that car and have like if the AC. If you were going to do a bug, I would seriously just put a bug chassis on this. And that way you really? have to, seriously. If you were going to do a car with like a bigger wheelbase and stuff, I, I feel like a bug is pretty similar to the, mm. the size of this. Yeah. That way the interior's there, you know, figure out how, how to keep all of that too. But. We've done it before. We did the Evo, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So essentially what we're getting at is we need to see what you guys think. So the reason that I'm actually making this video is one of the last videos I posted on the channel in the comments, I said, like this video, or I'm gonna start another project before I finish this one, which is currently the 7.3 swapped 
Mustang. Not en enough of you guys liked that video. Project. Time to start another project, boys. <laughs> I'm kind of up in the air. I don't know what to do with this thing. If we fix it and sell it, if we use it to repower another thing, do a swap like that. But before we head over to the SEMA show and look at some of the EV swap for Black Friday on MotionOnTV.com, we are doing 15 times entries and we're doing free products in orders. So after this video, click that link in the description, head over to the website, check out our Black Friday deals, grab some entries for the R32 and let me know what you think of this thing. What's up guys, welcome back to another video from the 2022 SEMA show. We made a lot of videos out here going over the like combustion engines and you know not really the engines but like looking at those cars one of the things that i kind of have been ignoring and like probably what you guys ignore is like a lot of ev stuff you know electric vehicles ev swaps but it's one thing that you know is coming like it's just there's tons of ev cars ev swaps and just you know obviously like the epa and they're just like pushing ev on a lot of things so one of the things that is, I guess, kind of interesting about the SEMA show is there's so much EV swap parts and companies out here that are now like selling kits and things. We're in the SEMA electrified section, which this is pretty much a lot of the EV swaps that are actually out here. And uh, it's just interesting to kind of look at all this stuff. You know, they're making specific tools, specific like things. Okay, you got to change a battery out, you use a Benpack battery thing. This is a car that Charles is actually familiar with. What yeah. is this? Yeah, so this is a Plymouth Satellite. It's uh, owned by my friend Kevin, and he did all of the work on this himself. So Tesla battery packs and a whole bunch of other stuff. It, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you guys wanna check that out, it's on that racing channel, The Electrolyte. I'll put his Instagram down in the description, but it's a classic 70s Plymouth Satellite, and it has been completely changed to be 100% like electric. Um, and as you guys can see, he's got like, cantilever suspension in the rear. So this thing's like really custom. I mean, what do you yeah. think about it? I mean, it's it's obviously really unique, you know? And that's, I think that's kind of the common thing with myself, like out here. I started looking at these cars and I'm just like, man, like how, like why have I never thought about trying to do something like crazier than what we are currently doing? And I think that a lot of the stuff that we're doing is stuff that obviously like I just know how to do. It's like paint, body work, and putting a Jay-Z or putting a case swap or, you know, doing stuff, it's like you could do it cleaner to the, a, a new level, but I think that this would be kind of a new challenge or something that I would definitely be interested in is like just learning about this whole, you know, process of EV swapping something. Um, I kind of want to do like a hybrid system where you like add an electric motor to try to get some better mileage. Maybe not go full EV, but maybe we will go full EV. But uh, if there was like a company out there that made parts or something and wanted to like do a little collaboration build or something, I think that that would make the most sense to where like I'm not spending you know all the money to try and do it like right. if I was going to do it I would probably end up buying like a car from the auction like a Tesla or like a Chevy Volt or you know, not a Volt uh, Spark like an electric vehicle actually just convert that and swap that into another thing so I'm curious what you guys would think about that I love combustion engines I don't think I'd ever go away from them but I think it would be cool to mess with an electric car or even um, combine them combine it do something you know I mean I know you can make something four-wheel drive I know that that's what they did with on a type R they did like a front-wheel drive and they added like a, uh, an electric, electric motor in the drive rear. unit in yeah. the back to actually you know make more uh, make more power the crazy thing is there's this Civic that we went and looked at I was buying this truck a couple months ago and next to it like under these bushes was this like 1970s like civic wagon thing but it was like had like a forklift engine and like in the back it had like the where you put like 20 just like lead acid batteries and stuff in it yeah so you have like stuff like this big motor so this is actually a motor that's not an engine that's it was a motor. funny it was funny i went and i was talking to one of the even guys earlier I was like, yeah, I was like, so I was like, this is the engine. I was like, oh, no, that's the motor. That's the motor right there. But it's crazy how this replaces a combustion motor and it adapts combustion to a- Combustion engine. A combustion engine. engine. Yep. This replaces a combustion engine, but it's made it up to a normal transmission. Normal transmission, Which yeah. is really, really interesting. And it's such a small package. I feel like you could put this really in anything. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like in a Datsun. I mean, and technically that bell housing is way overkill. Like the only reason they have that yeah. is for just the fact of like, doing something. You know what's kind of cool? Yeah. Is a Volkswagen Beetle or a bus. Right, with you know, like this. With that. Remember when like RC cars, I had nitro RC cars and they were like, they were so fast. They made a lot of noise. 
but they were always such a pain in the ass and they were like breaking and you know they would leak or you'd blow up the engine because the air filter would come off of it and you had to tune them all the time now the best rc cars are electric like right. and they're absolutely insane and it's the same thing as like a tesla plaid or just insane stuff just electric i mean is, look at this thing it's crazy i mean i guarantee you this is faster than any other classic car on the road of the same year be simply because of yeah. the of the electrification of it like it's kind of sad it's kind of cool you know like it's it's one of those i like everything if it has wheels and an engine or a motor or whatever you want um i want to do something with it so uh, i definitely think it, it, it would be cool to do a swap on something i don't know what but do something so this is the motor that i was talking about uh this is like cascadia motion so i guess board warner actually owns them and they sell these engines. I just learned all this stuff. I was talking to a guy and uh, yeah, this is like a brand new unit. This is essentially like the transaxle thing because like this one, it's still one speed, but what they do is it's like, I guess close to like an 11 to one gear ratio and you can still do like hundred miles an hour, but it's still a one speed. But yeah, I, I feel like this is a very similar setup to like what would be in like a Chevy, like Spark, like an EV. Like the of, one that you have in the back. Something, yeah. you know, but like imagine putting this in like a Volkswagen bug, you know, and like instead of having to deal with the plumbing of the coolant and the radiator, and you still have to do some of that for this, but like, you know, a fuel tank, you just have to figure out where to put the batteries. You know, instead of fuel lines, you run the battery cables. And, you know, it's like, it's an interesting thing. So I think I'd like to try, try it, doing something. You guys have to let me know if you'd be interested in watching something like that and uh, put it down in the comments what you guys think and put down in the comments what you guys think if uh, you think we should do something like that if we should try to work with like you know a lot of companies are like selling kits like this now or if we should just like buy something tear everything out and stuff it in a car you know and say okay this is what we're doing they even have race cars EVs have been up Pikes Peak obviously you guys have seen videos of like a Tesla like Tesla Plaid and just like how absolutely insane they are Ford and Chevy like they have brand new electric fully 100% electric vehicles they have trucks now F-150s yeah what is this I don't know what it is it's something Lordstown it Motors it has a bolt Lordstown Motors that's what that is uh, this is some sort never of even seen that before Volkswagen look at this they have side by sides look at this but isn't that crazy it like, looks empty like like it's, it's literally just empty that's it like it's just wild that that's you know and, and then, basically and then you put, put a toolbox the toolbox and you got the you got the in the back battery that's crazy should we do something like this i like i kind of want to just because like i have never done it that's where everything's going and i don't want to be like wait another two or three years and then be like oh well everything not that it has to be electric but like me not knowing anything about it. Like I would like to start now. I feel like I should probably start it a little bit sooner. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a guy over there that was standing by that motor and he looked like he wanted to talk to us. Like he's like a company. Maybe we need to see if they'll send us some stuff. So like I said, if there's a company that wants to work with us, showcase their product, we do a collaboration build on it. I'm more than down for that. Uh, I would like some education so I can figure it out. So I don't give myself a nice shock. Look at all the things, you know? Look at all the things. I think as time goes on to even in like by next year, the options for the aftermarket will be insane. Well, yeah, there's so many control units now and there's just so like AM. AM literally makes like a control unit now. See, Cascadia Motors. Yep. They sell all that stuff and then charger unit, battery pack. Wow, interesting. It's really cool. Really interesting. So this car, look at this Porsche right there. Really cool, I don't know anything about it. Busy Moto built it. It's 100% electric. Really cool. Yeah. And it's like Fully a time electric. attack build. It's like a hill climb kind of thing. It looks so like, cool. I feel like we have a lot of people in Colorado that do EV stuff. Yeah, we do. So, yeah, you know take Kevin, for example, with the electrolyte. They're in Denver. Yeah. All right, well, I think that is all the time we have here right now. We pretty much have to go catch a plane. We're just gonna sit around watching an airplane take off and fly, but if you're sitting around watching airplanes take off and fly, we might be on one of them. We'll wave to you from the window. See you guys later. Yeah.